Hello beautiful creatures of the world and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about a story time that happened fairly recently that rendered me very, very upset. So, to get into it. Um, as I've established earlier on this channel, but I'm going to just reiterate because I know that, you know, whatever. I work in a retail store and I was working one night, I had the closing shift and we were getting close to closing, it wasn't super busy and a customer comes up to me while I'm working and he says to me, are you holding church right now? And I'm so confused by what he said. I'm like, what? So I say, I that's what I say, I'm like, what? He's like, are you doing church right now in the back of the store? I'm so confused. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, there are all those Muslims and people in headscarves back in the corner there. They're just praying. I'm like, okay. And this is of concern to either you or I because... And I just kind of don't say anything. And then he just kind of scoffs at me and walks away. And... A couple minutes later, he comes back up to me. He's like, you need to call a manager because I've been to the Middle East. I know when those Muslim people are praying, that's because they're about to do something. And I'm just like, you can't actually be serious right now. Are you trying to tell me that you think just because they're Muslim, just because they're praying, and just because they have a headscarf on, they're going to commit a terrorist attack? Is that what you're telling me? You're basing your predisposition of racism and Islamophobia on a <laughs> I'm actually at a loss for words because when I think about it it's so upsetting to think that this guy just thought that just because they were wearing a headscarf that they were terrorists it's like in my area of the world in my bubble in my life I don't see a lot of racism and discrimination I guess directly firsthand like I don't always see it or hear it with my eyes a lot and so when it actually happens it's very upsetting um honestly like it's like I met Donald Trump or something like he was the embodiment of Donald Trump and everything he stands for which is also terrifying but that's a different topic for a different day I was genuinely upset by this. I'm like, these people are just praying. They're not hurting you at all. And like our store, um, we have merchandise that's like being moved around all over the place. So we have a lot of areas in the store that are empty. They're like empty aisles or like some corners may be empty. So I'm like, they were probably praying in an empty aisle or an empty space so that they wouldn't be disturbing people. It's like, they're not hurting you. They're just praying. Why are you upset by that? And you're thinking just because they're praying, just because they're existing and they're here, you think that they're going to be terrorists automatically? It's like, until they actually disrupt something, until they give you know us a reason to think that, hey, something may be up. We're not gonna tell them to stop. We're not gonna tell them to go away. They were praying. That's so innocent. Like, I know I'm overgeneralizing right now, but I wanted to say to him, well, you know, people like you, really like to pray to Jesus Christ and well you shouldn't be praying. Hitler was, Hitler was a Christian so you know if you be praying to Jesus you may you know do some ethnic cleansing here in the store if you know what I'm saying. Like honestly like okay I feel like I might not be making sense right now like I really hope you guys are like picking up what I'm laying down but it's just so upsetting to think that like this amount of racism and Islamophobia exists and it clearly exists in my backyard because I just, I wanted to spit in this guy's eye. Like, I basically just ignored him. That's what I did. I didn't even give him the time of, time of day. Just completely ignored him, which pissed him off, obviously. But I'm just like, I'm not going to even talk to you if that's how you're going to be. You know what I mean? You know, I usually plan out my videos before I film them. And this time, for this video, I did not think of an uplifting spin to put at the end of the video. Because I really hate ending my videos on such a downer. Um, so I guess just ignore the bigots and ignore the racist people, because it may be hard to believe, but I still truly think that they're in the minority here, and I just gotta ignore them and let them deal with their stupidity that they are stewing in, and if someone wants to pray, let them pray. Let them peacefully and silently pray, meditate, anything. If they're not harming you, leave them alone. That's my message. If, if someone's not harming you, leave them alone. If they're leaving you alone, 
leave them alone. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below. And if you liked it, make sure to hit that beautiful subscribe button to become a beautiful creature of the world because I make new videos every single week. And check out my social media links, which are in the bottom bar. And I will see y'all next time. Love y'all. Deuces.